Good morning, good afternoon, good evening internet, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Economical Rides. Hi there, sorry it's been a while, but the weather's still been terrible. I haven't been out on the bikes at all, so you haven't missed anything. But in the meantime, I did manage to put together the promised sound comparison video. I recorded both bikes on the same stretch of road on different days. I used the same sound recorder with the same settings and with the same microphone position. On the filming day with the Meteor, unfortunately it was considerably more windy, but I still think overall this video gives you a fair indication of the difference in the sound of the two bikes. Although I tried to ride both bikes in exactly the same way, unfortunately at one point on the Classic I shifted into 5th gear and when I took the Meteor up the road I remained in 4th gear but I do point that out in the captions so it's not too much of a drama. Also in this video I feature a couple of ride buys. I also recorded both bikes stationary and pulling away from a standing start. So sit back, relax, turn up the volume Grab a glass of your favourite tipple and enjoy the sounds of Royal Enfield's two competing 350s. Who is going to win the battle of the sound? I'll be back at the end of this video to give you my conclusions. Enjoy.
So I hope you enjoyed that little comparison. So my conclusions, well, for me, categorically, the Classic 350 wins the battle of the sounds. I always enjoyed the sound of the Meteor before I got my Classic 350. I think for a small engine, it does have a big sound, but the Classic 350 just takes it to another level. As I've always said, it's, it's got a harsher note to it. It's a bit rawtier. Overall, it's just more of a classic sound. I quite often notice on the Classic that when I'm approaching a pedestrian, they will turn around before I get there. And not in a bad way, but in a good way. They're interested to see what's creating this wonderful old school sound. So for me, the winner of the sound comparison is the Classic 350, hands down. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please take the time to hit the thumbs up icon. That way, YouTube will do more to promote this video, make it easier for other people to find, which of course is of great benefit to me. If you haven't subscribed yet, but you're interested in the Classic 350 and the Meteor 350, please consider subscribing. I own both bikes and I like to put them through their paces and I document how they're doing here on this channel. Whether you're a subscriber or not, if you have any questions regarding the Meteor 350 or the Classic 350, feel free to post them in the comments section. I will give you my honest answer at the earliest opportunity. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to bringing you a new video very soon. Bye bye.